G'day, Stephen Carey from OffTheGridNorse.com Bit of an update to our harsh climate gar um, gardening actually And yes, say hi babe Hi guys I, I asked you to say hi babe Oh hi babe Yeah that's right, see she talks to me nicely sometimes <laughs> Yes, out in the outdoor kitchen, gloomy old day Oh listening to Eric Clapton This update, the nutrients we use in these buckets Now we want to get down really close Come on Kerry, Kerry is my beautiful assistant. Pick one up. Right, now look, uh, have a look at that. That's how white the roots are, how healthy and white the roots are. That's a nutrient mix that we're using called Dutch Fest. Look it up, just type in Dutch and Fest and you'll find it. Australian mate, we swapped over from uh, Dutch Master. Dutch master you can't get very easily these days, can you both? No, you cannot. No, but how good are those roots? And how old are these plants, Kerry? Uh, I don't know, about a month or six weeks. Six weeks, I'd reckon. Yeah, six weeks, and we're already just about, well, we are actually. We are harvesting, yeah. We now, are. we'll go along. These are actually only lettuce, and these are celeries, the celeries. Now, look at the size of them. They're the same age. Yeah. Does that lid lift up? Yeah. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Now the nutrients are brown because it's a mix of a two-part nutrient. It's not too bad, economically it's pretty bloody good. Better than the Dutch master. So look at that. I just wanted to show people, people go, you can't grow hydroponically without reticulation. Reticulation, that's water going in and water going out and all the pump stuff. We are off grid. So these are, what are they carry? Gorilla. They're my gorilla buckets. Gorilla buckets. Nearly everything. We do gorilla pipes and gorilla buckets. We do. So yeah, that was They're just... called gorilla buckets, so you can pick them up and take them... Like if it's, if the shit hits a fan or you're renting yeah, a house and you've got to move, you can pick them up and take them with you. It's a garden, it's a transport Just ignore garden. that. We aren't paranoid yeah, sort of people. Yeah, I'm just saying for people that are <laughs> renting and, or want to move. Yeah, but we're not conspiracy theorists that think the shit's going to hit the fan. Oh. But these are gorilla buckets in my... my t the way I see it is they're just plants that you can grow with our power. So those roots, crystal clear, plants, edible. Well and truly edible, six weeks. Now you, they, we've just got, a, these are just old buckets from the bakery. You can do this, not having to deal with this bloody shit down here, which is the ground that Kerry's standing on. The steel. The steel. Right, in the pots, same thing with the nutrients. Let's have a look at the lettuce. This one will do, no, over here. There's a biggie. Show the roots. Right, white as, beautiful, white as. Again, see how Kerry pulled that out? Now, where could you put that if you want it? In my dinner. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anywhere but, I like, I can but move we, it you could But you could pick that up and drop it into the buckets. Yeah. Or well, you could move it around. Kerry moves position. plants around all the time. These are gorilla pots, no reticulation. We don't drain them, we don't flush them. We just pull our plants when they're ready, and that's what you get. Lovely little plants that grow really quickly, very easily, no shovel, no nothing. And on that note, Kerry, yes. we have to keep this really short. Yes. You need to go over there and do it. What's that? Explain to me. Anyway, cheers to David Kerry. Gorilla buckets. On a gloomy old day, just wanted to show people that you don't need reticulation, you don't need a very expensive hydroponic setup. And you can listen to music on 3 kilowatts. Catch us later, guys.